Over the years, I have become the keeper of the artefacts from my family. I've collected uniforms, badges, stripes, photos, books and diaries, amongst other items of memorabilia. One particularly intriguing photograph is that of a cat. Not any old tabby moggy, but the one that belonged to my great-great-uncle, William Cundy. The photo hung on the wall of my grandparents' dining room. A poignant reminder of a man who left home for the Great War, who fought and was lost. In January 2002, I travelled through the Somme Valley with my two sons. Driving through the peaceful French countryside, it was difficult to imagine the destruction and carnage that was wrought there in another time. A monument appearing through the mists of morning fog, or a small cemetery with its rows of white headstones tucked into a quiet corner of a field, were sobering reminders of a time when freedom and peace hung in the balance. The mission to find and bring home Uncle Will was entrusted to us, as we were the first of our family to visit France and the Western Front since the war. Uncle Will fought and died with his comrades from the 48th Battalion at Bullecourt on the 11th of April 1917. Like many others that day, he was never found. His name was added to the list of Australia's missing and inscribed on the walls of the Australian Memorial. We journeyed to the Australian Memorial at Villers Bretonneux early one day to fulfil our mission. It was an emotional morning. Walking up the hill towards the memorial over manicured lawns flanked by rows of white headstones was haunting. Here and there we paused to read an inscription, a soldier of the Great War. Who were these men, the pride of their generation, mourned by their families and now known only to God? The walls of the memorial loomed large as we drew near. So many names, so much sorrow. Where would we start? Eventually we located the heading for the 48th Battalion. As our eyes scanned the first column, a sense of anticipation grew. There, at the very bottom of the column, at eye level, we found Uncle Will. W.D. Cundy, engraved in stone forever. The moment overwhelmed us. We gently traced the letters with our fingers, made a rubbing of his name, and carefully packed it for the journey home. The loop was closed, the lost found.